Salvete spectatores, it's Mazopost. Welcome back to Blood and Wine. The Witcher 3. And our goal is to find the pillar and the stones of our hero, Reynold, I guess, who maybe is kind of a founding father of Toussaint. Saw marks are straight and clean. Precision castration, I call this. Okay. Dried blood stain. I think the the stone dick does not bleed, so he must have cut his finger or something like that. Could he have jumped down here? Aha! Uh -huh, there was something. Yep, there's something down there. It must. But we'll check this room first. Diamond saw blade. Perpetrator's tool. Now why would he have just left it here? Doesn't make any sense. Piece of coat fabric caught on the nail. Heavy on cologne. Smell it'll lead me to the thief. Hmm. This makes it female for me. I don't know. Maybe males do use cologne to song. It's kind of hard to see in this broad daylight. Sorry, I'm on a really important mission here. Dark secrets taint you from a fairy tale that she likes. Uh huh. Where are we go? Ah, Wait, what? Oh, it goes up here. Oh, it's, it's this woman. No, no, no. What am I talking? Ah. Was that truly necessary? And our knights would like to chop liver. It's really difficult to see. A fruitful hunt to you, Witcher. Goes over here. Days. Goes on further. Aha! Uh -huh. Up the stairs. Over to the right. It's it's hard to see it in sunlight. In the shadow, it's, it's much easier. Sand leads to this door. <laughs> it's thin scrapings around here. At least the weather's pleasant. <laughs> oh, sorry to interrupt, I guess. This, this is not what it seems. <laughs> Word of honor. I, I, I tripped, rolled, tumbled, then landed where she already lay. Psst! Juice! That's not him! I, I swear, this is all an unfortunate coincidence. A series thereof. That's not my husband. You mean, not, not your husband? Who are you, and why are you in my home? Out now, or I'll summon the guards. Calm down. Just here to talk. I, uh, I believe we have nothing to talk about. Oh, we do. We do. Just to kick things off. You're in great form for a man your age. <clears throat> I eat well, start the day with a glass of wine. That preserves <laughs> the body wonderfully. Interesting. Might try it. Say, ever heard of Reginald Dobry, his statue? <laughs> Everyone in the city's heard of it. Reginald's a paragon, a national hero. That's so. You seem well informed, Hughes. Maybe you know who stole Reginald's testicles. I... Uh, I can explain everything. Uh, this... Rosalinda! I know you're in there! You had that fancy pants of yours! Oh no, not him too. This really is not my day. Got you, you rogue! 
prepare for a shellacking, Skelly. What the love's this? Rosalinta. One, I could forgive you, but two at one time. Wait, got nothing to do with this. <laughs> Take me for a fool. I'll teach you to fish in another man's pond. You heard me. Calm down, or you'll wind up picking your teeth up off the floor. Tough, are you? Oh, God. Come here. Come on, you scamp. Not again. This guy doesn't seem that hard. I got him in a corner and I just mash my left mouse button here. Okay, this was quite easy. Rosalinda, my dove, please allow us a moment. All right, I admit I stole the stones, and you will never believe it, but they work. Today, Rosalinda and I will three times and counting. Three times? Impressive. <laughs> Isn't it? <laughs> At my age, that's more than the entire last decade. All the same, you stole those stones and you gotta return them. Listen, perhaps we might strike a deal. Hmm? Let me keep the stones. I'll pay you. Grant me this, I beg you. They... they've made me young again. No chance. Need to take the stones, pure and simple. But... but if you were to leave them with me for, for a day or two, uh, three at the most... Shit out of luck. Sorry. At the day's end, it's good I had a chance to use them at all. Here, take them. <laughs> Thanks. Good. And good luck. Actually think you'll do just fine without them. I do not have mercy where art is concerned. Let's get back to the curator. Hmm. Will I be able to find the way on my own? Let's see. To be born into sun is to be born under a blackest. Wait. Was it over here? And I'm lost again. Shade. It's not easy to find to the right and then again. Alright, oh, yeah, we, we moved up. Okay. So it was over here. And then somewhere up the stairs. Ah, here was the curator. Ah, I was over here, sweet. So he must sit over here, yeah. Well, have you recovered Reginald's family jewels? Yep, got them back. Lepiota's luscious lips, it's them! It's really them! I hope this modest reward nonetheless conveys the extent of my gratitude. And look in on us tomorrow for the grand reopening. You shall stroke Reginald at no charge. Only half. Of 
When I am sure about one thing, then that Geralt does not need to stroke the testicles. So, will he... Wait a second. Okay, he hammers them back on. Interesting. So, I got this mission done. There is... There's some more 36 level decisions I want to do first. Hmm. Oh, this is the main story. Okay. I want... You know what? Let's go to our estate really first. To Corvo Bianco. There's also the stash. Quite. And... Geralt's house. Real estate granted to the Witcher. You can catch some rest and relaxation here between contracts. So we have to move out of the city. And over the countryside back to our house. Now I look at the sea, so I have to think, turn... Wait, where am I look? Am I looking at this sea? Oh. So let's turn left. Fare thee well. That's much faster on Roach's back. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, it's the evening sun. I hope we'll get home before the sun goes down. No oh, sorry. Still rocking. What's his name? Um. The big guy, the, the giant, the, the ogre. Oh, we got a new marker. Cooper, Cooper's or Copper's Gate? Cooper's Gate, okay. Goliath or something like that. What was that? San Sebastian? Oh. Whoa there, Roach. Are these the turning grounds? Slow now. Whoa. Yeah. Go, okay. Go. Do you like it? I will have to pass them for now. There is some quest, uh, some quest with the guy we rescued. Glom was his name, I guess. Sweet. <laughs> on, <laughs> Did the jump? Is this our estate? I think so. Let's check. Nope. The one further down the street and then to the left. Must be the entrance over here. I think this is already part of Corvo Bianco, yeah. Now these are my peasants. Hello! Okay. I don't care about the sensation in your ribs, woman. I care about the... Oh, sorry, cat. Did you do good wine? I appreciate you guarding my estate, uh, dear sir. Wait, where am I going? <laughs> I clearly rode by. I should get more familiar with my own estates. Okay, this was the street, the road I took to find the Bruxa. A lot of cats around, I like that. There are a lot of peasants now. Good thing that they weren't already all here when the Bruxa came. It is, it is a nice place, but in a little bit of a sorry state, actually. It's already evening, so let's get some brazers going. Welcome home, sir. I am Barnabas Basil Fauti. By order of the Duchess, I shall serve you as Major Domo of Corfo Bianco. 
I previously served with distinction at the Nibli family manor and in Nazaire with Admiral Rompali, who, as you are certain to know, is an extraordinary demanding gentleman. Whoa, Barnabas Basil. One thing you ought to know, I'm not your typical landed gentleman. Truth be told, this is the first real property I've ever owned. Oh, in that case, you must leave it all to me. I shall organize, see to everything, and whip the house into order. I dare say this place will soon be the most prosperous vineyard around. Great. Can already see I'm in good hands. Sweet. So this guy rocks apparently the same glasses as the professor did. Vineyard comes across as a place with a rich history. Know who owned it before me? Baron Rossell, who went bankrupt, forcing him to sell the estate to the Duchess. The Baron, in turn, had purchased it from Monsieur Bolius of the Headsman. A truly colorful man of Ketweni origin. He was actually a headsman? No, not him, but his great, 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 great grandfather. Indeed. Apparently he was a common cut purse who somehow secured for himself the post of ducal headsman in Beauclair. Went about his work with an exceptional penchant. They say he chopped off more heads than there are grapevines in the ducal vineyards. He never hesitated, not once. Never sliced unevenly, never botched a job. For his exemplary service, the Duke granted him a title and this estate. Monsieur Bolius, on the other hand, was an engineer in his younger years. Once retired, he settled here and took to producing wine. Sadly, misfortune struck and he lost his sense first of smell, then of taste. Additionally, he could not drink alcohol. His medic forbade it. Shame that. He gave up making wine? Not at all. He made even more of it. Began throwing wild balls to which he'd invite friends from far and wide in order to treat them to his wine and delight in the fact that at least someone could enjoy it. It's the sort of man he was, Monsieur Bolius. Mind giving me a little tour de Corvo Bianco? Not in the least. Follow me, please. I think it would be practical to begin on the hill. Behold, sir, your estate in all its splendor. Very nice. Very vast. Indeed. And now, sir, allow me to show you a handful of interesting details. Follow me, please. Been a major domo all your life? Yes, I come from a long line of major domos. My father was a major domo, as was my grandfather before him, as was my great aunt. In fact, she was the one to start the tradition. Great aunt? A hard woman. It is said that already as a child, she knew where she was going and went there. When she arrived in Beauclair, she signed on as a chambermaid at one of the vineyards then slowly worked her way up to Major Domo. She dragged the rest of the family up the same path. Okay, interesting. I really love her. The servants' quarters. I occupy the green home. With the Duchess's permission, I have hired a full staff. Their salaries to be paid from the Ducal Treasury. Nice of her. Not the most sightly part of the estate, I admit. But I think it's worthwhile for you, as master of the domain, to know where the help stays. Mm -hmm. What I was saying is I really like the fleshing out of the very minor characters, such as this Major Domo, Barnabas. Baron Rossell ordered the vines in this part of the estate uprooted and olive groves planted in their place. They look beautiful, especially come spring. Don't look at all bad now, either. Mm hmm Sweet. So we actually p produce something as a witcher. That's... that's new. Down below lies your vineyard, where we grow a strain of Carfanere, one of the world's oldest. Aged in oak barrels, it provides for an exquisite wine with distinct blackberry, wild cherry, plum and cinnamon notes. Marvelous. I have to try it one of these days. Yeah, Geld is no stranger to the consumption of wine. 
That's for sure. Nice well. Picturesque. Yes, though it ran dry long ago. During the raucous feasts Master Bolius held, he would order it filled with wine. There's a tale about a guest attending a Bolius school for the first time and thus unaware of the custom. He had suffered great heartbreak and had decided to end his life by jumping into the well. The festivities were coming to a close and the well was nearly empty when the suicidal guest finally jumped. Instead of killing himself, he nearly broke his legs. To numb the pain, he drank the wine. Drank himself to death? N not at all. When found the next day, he had concluded he'd witnessed twin miracles. The water had been changed into wine, and he had survived. He retired to a monastery in the Dragon Mountains and began preaching the wisdoms of Lebioda. Okay. <laughs> I now only realized, look, look at my sword hilts. There is actually a dragon, a uh, snake head and a snake liking on, on the steel blade. That's nice. Because these are the viper swords, of course. Monsieur Bolius, his wife Nina, kept a garden here. <gasps> a supremely lovely place it was. Bit neglected now. I agree. Yet nothing stands in the way of restoring it to its former glory and once again planting it with herbs and other vegetation. Yeah, and we will do that, definitely. But money is so short uh, right now. We really need to farm it somehow. Madame Nina planted diminutive delicate flowers and herbs here. One might say their aroma still hangs in the air. You're quite the romantic, Barnabas Basil. Ooh, look at the star-filled sky. Nice. Ooh, shadows looking good. Oh my, with the music, this is just so beautiful. I'm speechless. I really am. This served as an additional wine cellar in years of plentiful harvests. Hmm. It'll have work and it'll make a fine stable for Roach. Ooh, okay. Didn't see that. The cellars, voila! During Monsieur Bolis's time, wine was kept here, but Baron Rossell used it to store olive oil as well. I took the liberty of cleaning up the um, mess, which I made while fighting the Bruxa. Thanks, Barnabas Basil. Appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you. This must have been quite ugly. Let's get inside, shall we? As you can see, the facade is, how to put it, slightly stained. But one cannot deny it a certain subtle southern charm. True, though it could use a bit of subtle paint. Mm hmm. Not too big, I like it, I really do. It has a medieval flair to it. And welcome inside. On the left is the master bedroom. On the right, the dining hall and kitchen. Upstairs, you shall find the guest room, currently used for storage. Not a bad idea. At the moment, the house is only minimally furnished. Yet I believe we will, together, devise some innovative arrangements. A few paintings, for instance, would breathe new life into the abode immediately. With that, sir, you've seen the full lay of the land. Corfo Bianco is a beautiful estate. One must admit, time has taken its toll. If, forgive me for being forward, but if you were to choose to invest a small sum towards its beautification, 
consider me at your service on the matter. Think I'll take you up on that. Be sure to come and see you if I decide to do any remodeling. So let's let's check the prices actually. Mentioned the place could stand to be spruced up. Almost decidedly, sir. The question is where you would like to begin this rejuvenation. So some work in the house. Um, let's check in the house. Been thinking about the outer walls. Maybe a fresh coat of paint or some patching. If I might dare to make a suggestion, why not start with a general renovation? I once oversaw such work at Admiral Rompelli's summer residence. The effects were simply breathtaking. Not only did the residence positively sparkle afterwards, but we also made room to display the Admiral's armor and weapons, of which he was a passionate collector. Oh my god, so the basic renovation costs 5,000? Hmm. Need to think it over some. I understand, of course. As the venerable Lady Eve Knibli would so quaintly put it, the rash oft contract rashes. Oh my god, how much is the grounds? Got these spacious grounds. Hmm, but maybe it's time to make them more... Uh useful oh yes we certainly should the way i see things given your trade sir you would be wise to put in a grindstone and an armorer's table a good way to start things off don't you think my armor needs work from time to time you know oil this reinforce that could use a decent work table where I could do all that. Admiral Rompali once hired a specialist who made the finest armorer's tables this side of the Yeruga. I will contact him at once. Hmm. It's only a thousand. Hmm. Know what? Might not be the best time to lay out that kind of coin. Let me sleep on it. Ponder the notion however long you wish, sir. I am at your disposal always. Let's put a pin in this for now. Remembered I have some urgent business to tend to. Not the slightest problem, sir. I'm here to serve whenever you desire. Okay, we'll do that definitely, but I really, I, I don't have the coin at all. Let's check out the estate. So, here's the main entrance. Wow, how did he put it? We have the basic. The basic furniture. Here we have a nice dining room with a sausage, apparently. Let's check what's over here. Oh, it's the terrace. This is the side entrance. Okay. No, no, sorry, this is the main entrance. Here we have our bed uh, and some storage. Okay. What's this? Oh, armor stand, right. Um, let's check this out. Could put our our festivity thing over there with this trousers. The nice shoes. Sweet. So if we have to go out, we'll pick up this one. Cannot use this apparently. Huh. Okay, never mind. Here we have another bedroom. Cannot place any trophies. Uh, but we can use access to our stash. Sweet. So, is here another entrance? No, it's just uh, the back side here. Ooh, I'm very agile. Okay. And the other. Okay, there's only one upstairs, is there? 
Oh yeah, I cannot get up here. Okay. Oh, what's this? Another storage room. Oh, I think this is the kitchen. Well... It's a little bit confusing, actually. <laughs> Although it's so small. I can use the bed. That's interesting. Rest here to gain bonuses. Okay, so we can sleep. I want to sleep until 6 a.m. And I guess the other things I can only do once I unlock certain levels of building on my estate. With the library, we can, for 60 minutes, gain 5% bonus experience during combat. So let's do that. Nice. I am rested and fresh. Time to greet another day. Yeah, yeah, okay. I thank you all for watching. This was a very slow episode, but I just have to soak in the atmosphere. Look at the lightning. Oh my god. See you soon.